Hey guys, Johnny for Badger Gear Survival. Today we're going to talk about how to start prepping. Pretty basic, so let's get started. Alright guys, like I said, this is very basic, very straightforward stuff you got you can do to survive. You need very few things, very basic things to survive. Food, air, water, and shelter. Air is already taken care of. If you can't breathe, you're going to die anyway. Don't stick your head in the river and drown. Easy. Step one. Step two is shelter. Three minutes. That's that, that hierarchy of three thing. You only last three minutes, three minutes, or three minutes, three days, three weeks. So let's start with the basic one. Shelter. You're going to bug in, you have a house. Use it. I mean, in the winter, yeah, you may not have heat if anything happens, but you won't freeze. Put everyone in a room. Blankets. Small uh, tea light candles that will eat the room candles, emergency candles, that kind of stuff. So shelter's not a big deal if you're bugging in. Now bugging out, that's another deal. If you make sure when you're bugging out, you need some sort of shelter. That could be tents, tarps, uh, swag shacks are great. If you go ahead and go look that up, a little expensive, but awesome, awesome uh, implement for your pack. Like I said, tarps, great, great thing. Small, lightweight, fold up, put in your pack, forget about it. Although you should know how to put that up, so you need to practice with that. As with all your gear it's easy it's easy to do right you just need to practice it practice your knots practice your lashings practice putting that up building fires around it and just doing it you need to practice it so shelter is covered or tents tents are easy if you have room for it so like I said shelter is covered now you need water water is huge and water is easy if you're bugging in go to the store you guys are buying water for your for your lunches and stuff you drink bottle water Buy an extra case and put that down in the uh, basement. That's it, easy as that. You guys drink soda, two liter bottles, rinse those out, put water in it, put those in the basement. Milk, clean that out, put that in the basement. Just make sure that it's dark or you cover it because if there's any light, you'll, get, you'll start growing things and that kind of stuff. And, and cycle it too because some of those plastics will leak chemicals into it and that's bad too. So cycle that, your, your water supply constantly, drink it. So you buy another case, take that case, pick it up, buy two cases, cycle the top two or bottom two out, put those in. You're constantly replenishing and recycling and making sure, mark it with a marker if you have to, so you know when you bought it and when it's down there, don't keep it down there very long. So now that's that shelter and water. Food, another really easy basic thing. When you guys go to the grocery store, buy a couple cans of extra stuff. Canned meats, soups, uh, anything, fruit, vegetables. Like you said, same thing. They're like 30 cents a piece. You can get the economy stuff. I mean, it tastes the same. Just just buy some, put it in. Mark it, mark it on, a, on a shelf. This is when I bought this. July 16. A year from now, pull it off, replace it. Constantly recycle, not recycle, re, uh, replenish and then re, and use it. If you guys want to, have a big prepper cooking party. Cook it all at once, bring all your group over. You should have a community. You should have some sort of mutual assistance group. People with you, people helping you, so go and make you know get together and cook it. So that's basically it. That's how that's how easy it is. That is easy. Go buy a few extra things here and there and test it or make sure you track it and use it. And as far as gear goes, that's what I was saying with those tarps. I mean, even us as people who do this a lot, we still have our own issues, we still worry about things. And we'll cover that in a second too, but we actually test our gear to cut down on that worry. We actually do research on a lot of these things, and we do push it out to you guys as information. So if you guys have a piece of equipment you're interested in, do a lot of research on it. Get that piece of equipment, test it a lot, and then when you put it in your pack, you know for sure that it works for you in these situations. And make sure it covers a variety of situations. So you're not just isolated or stuck with one tool for one job, another tool for one job. Because eventually your pack is going to be 60 pounds and if you're not used to carrying that, you're not going to be able to uh, handle that. Alright, so we covered your basic necessities for prepping. And if you need to go back, go to Ackard Bug Out Bags and your GHB so you have all that stuff. And find those tools and put it in. The other thing I want to talk about is the weirdness factor how weird you can get with this now don't get so deep into it that all you worry about is having a thousand cans of cream corn in your basement now don't get 
don't get crazy. You can get crazy by all means, but don't let it don't let it eat you up. Don't let it constantly grind on you because all you're gonna do is sit around thinking about it. Be scrolling through Amazon and Prepper Forms trying to find the next best thing, which is another blog we have up. Go ahead and read that. Doesn't it's not the gear, the cost of the gear doesn't save your life, it's how you use the gear is gonna save your life. So you don't need to spend seven hundred dollars on a knife unless you want to I mean by all means great knives but if a forty two dollar straight is going to do the job of a five hundred dollar fiddle back and works for you then then do it but I just want to reiterate don't let this because it can when we started doing this it kind of we all kind of got crazy with it but don't let that happen to you let 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 people do the work for you and then add on to what people have already done and expand it then share it like we're doing now well that's it guys, pretty easy, pretty short video on how to start doing this. We had a couple of questions from people emailing us and back and forth stuff, so we decided to make a video and uh, describe how to do it. If you like what you see, please look, click like and subscribe. Drop some comments down below. If you forgot something, should add something, love information, love giving it, sharing it. And until next time, make yourself ready.